in this question we have an algebraic fraction that we need to simplify fully um, and this as so often um, is not quite as straightforward as it could be there are some slightly extra elements to it so what we're going to do first of all is um, well, we need to we need to obviously uh, try and factorize both of these because if we can do that and we can find a common factor then we know that we're on to a winner okay so um, I'm going to start actually in this case with the easier version. Um, I'm going to start with the denominator. And the denominator can be factorised by stating that I need two numbers that when I multiply them, they equal 2 times 3 because I've got this positive coefficient of x squared there, which is 6. And when I add them, they equal negative 7. Okay? So, so when I multiply them both together, I get um, a positive, and when I add them, the answer is negative. Therefore, both of my values must be negative. So when I look, I can see that it's going to be um, negative 6 and negative 1. Okay. So I'm now going to rewrite this, this denominator out. I'm going to write it as 2x squared minus 6x minus another x, so 1x and then plus three, okay? Now, I'm gonna factorize each of these different halves, okay? So if we look at the left-hand side, I can see that the common factor is gonna be two x, and inside the brackets will be x minus three, because two x times x is two x squared, and two x times negative three is negative six x. On the other side, um, now remember, I'm hoping to try and get the same, um, the same factor um, inside the brackets of x minus 3. So what am I going to do to get that? Well, I'm going to multiply this by negative 1. And that will give me x minus 3. Okay? I've got that now. So my denominator can be rewritten as uh, 2x minus 1 and x minus 3. Okay? So I've got the denominator sorted. The numerator looks really complicated, okay? But if you follow the instructions that you know and you follow the methods you know, you can do this without too many difficulties, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rewrite it in the format of ax squared plus bx plus c, because that's the way we're used to, okay? So I've got negative four x squared minus four x plus three, okay? And I'm now going to do exactly the same thing, okay? So I'm looking for two numbers that when I multiply them, they're going to equal negative 4 times 3, which is negative 12. And when I add them together, they're going to equal negative 4. So what I'm going to have is going to be um, a positive 2, so 2x, and a negative 6x. And that will give me the values that I need, okay? So in writing this out now, I get negative 4x squared plus 2x minus 6x plus 3, okay? I now need to factorise that as I have been doing. So I'm going to start with this side, then I'm going to go on to this side. So if we look at this, I've got, um, I'm going to pull out 2x and that will leave inside negative 2x plus 1. Then on this side, I'm hoping to get negative 2x plus 1 again, which is going to happen. So I'm going to pull out 3, and that will leave me with negative 2x plus 1. I can then rewrite that as 2x plus 3, negative 2x plus 1. Okay? Now, when I look at this, um, I've got a slight issue, okay? And my slight issue that is that I haven't got a common factor, because as you know, we want to try and get a common factor on the top and on the bottom. Um, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to look and see if there's anything I can do that's going to help me to get one of these. Now, looking here, the closest I've got is going to be this bracket here, okay? Because what I've got is the inverse, okay? Um, I need 2x minus 1, and I've got negative 2x times positive 1. So if I look, I can go back in and I can say that if I 
Uh, let's see if I can do this without wrecking it now. So I can, in fact, let's get rid of all of this and let's do this one again, okay? That's gonna be the easiest. So what I need is to find, um, where am I? So I'm gonna pull negative two X out, okay? And that will leave me with two X minus one, which is the factor that I'm looking for, okay? And then on this side, I'm gonna pull out uh, negative three, which will then give me two X minus one. Now that I've got that, I can rewrite it as two X minus one and negative two X minus three, okay? So I've got that now, um, and that I can put into this, okay? So I have 2x minus one, and I have negative 2x minus three, okay? They're the same factor, so I can cancel those out, which gives me negative 2x minus three over x minus three. And if I wanted to, what I could do is I can then rewrite it as negative 2x plus three over x minus three, okay? And that, if you like, is the, the perfect answer, okay? And all I've done there is I've, I've times multiplied the top by negative one, which brings it out, which makes it a bit neater on there and just gives me a negative answer, okay? Um, so as you can see, it's possible to work through that, but the little tricks they've put in there are the fact that the numerator isn't written in the normal way, um, in the ax squared plus bx plus c, which can cause some difficulties. Um, but then if you're patient and you work through it, it's possible to get all the necessary parts of this question sorted. Okay, um, so as usual, if you've got any questions, any concerns, drop me a message. Um, but for now, I will say thank you and goodbye.